So now you have to calculate the apply the equilibrium law, Kp, the products over reactants, take those coefficients into place here. Sorry, I'm just redoing what I just said, just so it'll be online. Take this guy right here, bring him down there, take this guy here, bring him down here, and all those numbers we just calculated. Who could tell me what we had for N2 again? What do we have? Somebody tell me 1.6 times 10 to the negative 6. What do we have for this one? It's just same. 6. Sorry, 6. I always do a negative. It's just a, it's a creature of habit there. All right, what do you have for the other one? 4.7 times 10 to the 6. And what do you have for the last one? times 10 to the 6. All right, so we had those. We're going to plug them in to our handy dandy equation. And somebody tell me what you get when you do that. You must use brackets when you're calculating. You must use those parentheses. If you don't, the bottom's going to really mess you up. Rudy, what'd you, oh, you don't have a calculator. No, I actually got it. It's 0 0.234. I found one. 0 0.234? Yep. Yeah, you found a calculator from the problem when I did it on the next page. Definitely. Oh, you found a calculator. Good. Uh, do you have a unit? Get the, why don't you do this? I want to tell you how to do this, all right? Let me explain it, okay? So what you want to do is this. In your calculator, try this right now. So what do we have for ammonia? What was the value? One point what? Seven. Seven times 10 to the six. Square that, tell me what you get. 2.89 times 10 to the what? All right, so we have that number. Now, before you do anything else, get this number right here in your calculator. Otherwise, you're going to screw everything up. So I'm going to divide by, okay, well, what's, what was H? What do we have for H? 
four point. What was H? Before, what was H? Pressure. 4.7 times 7 to the 6. Guys, you gotta help me. You're the ones that need help, not me. What'd you get? That's what you had, right? Yeah. And then cube that for me right now and tell me what you get. What do you get? What do you get? Four point seven times ten to the six, and or raise it to the third. One point zero four times ten to the twenty. All right. So now you have this. We don't have to do anything special with this. No squaring, cubing, or anything like that. So we can just plug this number in here, and that number of nitrogen was one point seven times ten to the six. 1.6. Now, if you go through and do it, I bet you get the right answer. Give it a shot. Make sure the whole denominator is in one parenthesis. The answer on the board. So if you get this funky donkey thing with these high level, these exponents, do the exponents first, get the numbers, set it up, and then boom, you'll get the right answer. Okay? Okay, Melissa? Yeah. Yes. All right, yes. Yes, I got it right. Yes, no. Yes, no. Maybe. 